In this video, I take a look at a PayPal Buy Now button plugin called Easy PayPal Custom Fields. And this particular one also allows you to do donations very easily as well. So let's have a look here. We look up Easy PayPal, and it's the second one that comes up here Easy PayPal Custom Fields. We'll install it, and we activate it. Now, it has a nice settings link right here, so we don't have to go searching for where it's placed its settings, although it is under settings right here on the sidebar, so it's easy to get to that way. Here's where we put in our email address for PayPal. It goes in right there. Then we choose our currency. Now, unfortunately, there is only this list to choose from. You can't add anyone's other than this. And so I choose my currency there. If you had a different currency, you could possibly change the plugin files yourself, which you don't really want to do if you don't have to. But if you were really stuck, you could get a developer to do that or something like that. Now we're going to choose the button type, Buy Now or Donations. Okay. In this case, we're doing Buy Now. We can have some custom button text if we want there, and a return URL, which is also optional. This is after you check out at PayPal. If you want them to come back to a specific page, you could put it in there. Now we're going to select where we want Easy PayPal to show up. We could have it just on posts, or just on pages, or on both. Okay. If you had custom post types, by the way, they would be displaying here, and you could choose them as well. There's also some themes for the button. And in fact, it displays down here automatically, which is kind of nice. If I choose that, or a blue theme, or regular PayPal images. So it's a nice little feature there to choose. I'm just going to go with the regular PayPal one. And we're going to save our changes there. It tells us our settings are saved. OK, so let's go over to our evaluation page here, our services. So here we are in evaluation services. Now, one of the drawbacks of this particular plugin is that it can only insert one button per page. OK, so here we see the box down below where we enter the information for the PayPal button. But we can't have more than one on a page. So in this particular case, we'd actually have to have two separate pages for evaluation services, one for in-store and one for at home which isn't a bad thing in a way, but it just is less flexible, perhaps. Anyway, let's go and look at our button here. We can do several things. We could say, show it at the top of the post or the bottom of the post automatically, or don't show a button right away. Use a short code so we can place it wherever we want. In this case, let's do that. I'm going to say, in-store evaluation. And if I had a product number, I could enter it here, something for my purposes. The amount, $50. Now, it has a note here. If this was a donation button, you would leave this blank. You would leave the amount field blank, and then the person could enter the amount themselves. Postage, obviously nothing there. If you try to erase this, it keeps showing. This is not going to show up. It's just an example. So you don't have to worry about that. Do we need our address from the customer? Well, let's say we do in this case. We don't want them to select quantity in this case because they're just buying the service. And we could have custom text field for them if we wanted. All right. Now, the other thing we can do is remember the settings we did earlier. We can actually change those right now. We could change text. We could change our currency. The button type, remember, it looked like we were fixed on our button type. We could actually choose to make this a donation button. And we can change the button as well on here. So. Lots and lots of options, even have a special page to go to after checkout. So that's kind of nice. We can customize all the settings that we did earlier. OK. So now all I do is I grab this, gives it to us right here, the short code. I place the short code up in here. I'm just going to make a new line for this. And we hit Update. OK. And let's go to our live site now. And we're going to refresh our evaluation page. And there's our Buy Now button. Let's double check that it's working. And yes, indeed, it's taking us to PayPal. It's got the right item, the right price. Everything's looking good there. So that works quite nicely. 
lots of options, as I say. And one of the things that's great about this, some Buy Now button plugins actually display your PayPal email address, which you may or may not want. Some people don't like to have that because it can get scraped by robots, right? They can come along and grab your address. I'll show you what happens. This is what some plugins produce right here. It's a hidden field, but it's visible, of course, to robots. And it has your actual PayPal email address in it. Now, what Easy PayPal Custom Fields does is it uses HTML entities to try and obfuscate the address. You can see there it still sort of says store, brave, new, niche. It's using HTML entities instead of letters. And that fools some robots. It doesn't fool all of them but it's a little bit of protection anyway from easy PayPal custom fields. So for buy now buttons and for doing donation buttons as well, this can be a very valuable plugin.